everyone welcome back to my channel learning information technology with teacher soon in today's video we are going to be looking at major hardware components of a computer system the objective of this video is to explain the functions of the major components of a computer system in order for us to select compatible components for our computer system we must be knowledgeable of the major hardware components that make up a computer system. From our previous lesson, we learned that a computer system is the integration of hardware, software, procedures, and data designed to receive, process, store, and present information in a meaningful manner. And so the focus of this lesson is hardware. Hardware can be defined as any physical device or parts that make up the computer system. For example, the monitor, the keyboard, the mouse, or the speaker. Computer systems carry out four main processes that cannot be done without the use of hardware. They are, one, allowing and accepting input. Two, processing the input received. Three, producing output in the form of information. And four, storing data and or information for retrieval and use. Now we must identify the hardware that carries out each process. For input, this means the procedure of accepting data into the computer system. The hardware component responsible for this action is input devices. Examples include the mouse, keyboard, and barcode reader. The processing is the activity of transforming data into information, which will be meaningful to the user. The hardware component that carries out this action is the microprocessor. Output is the act of presenting information to the user. The hardware component responsible for this action is output devices. Examples include the printer, monitor, and speakers. Storage is the process of holding data, instructions, and information for later use. The hardware component responsible for this is storage devices. Examples include flash drives and memory cards. Now we will look at the major components of a computer system. The central processing unit. This is the brain of the computer. It is made up of the control unit, and the arithmetic logic unit. It is responsible for fetching program instructions stored in memory and for executing instructions by performing arithmetic and logic operations. Primary storage. This is also known as main memory. It is generally found on the motherboard and includes read-only memory, ROM, and random access memory, RAM. Read-only memory contains the boot of instructions for a computer, while random access memory stores instructions that are waiting to be transferred to an output device. Secondary storage. These are devices that must be plugged in or inserted into a computer in order to be accessed by the system. It is used to store information that can be retrieved at a later date. Input or output devices. These are devices that accept input from the user and give output to the user of a computer system. Digital and analog data is accepted and then outputted in a visual or audible form. That's all for this lesson. Thank you for watching Learning Information Technology with Teacher Stone. 
please ensure that you subscribe to my channel and tell a friend to tell a friend to head over to YouTube and subscribe as well. I also encourage you to turn on your notification bell so that you will know when I have posted new content.